Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing two product review updates in this one video. Um, mainly because the updates are gonna be kind of short and I feel like I might as well just combine these two videos. First, the first update that I'm gonna be talking about is the portable washer and spin dryer. The one that I got was from Cup It and I got their portable washer and spin dryer because I had moved into an apartment last year, which I'm in now, right here. Um, and I don't have a washer and dryer in here, so I ended up buying or finding out about these portable um, washers just doing a search. I was like, they don't have portable washers nowadays? Like, that's literally what I thought, and I Googled it, and like everything popped up, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, oh my god, it's a thing! I have had this for a year now, and it still works. A lot of people were asking me, hey, it's been a year, you know, can you, do you have any updates or anything like that? Does it work? Do you like it? Did you switch it out? Did you get a new one? How do you like that one? Like, people are still asking questions, and I really appreciate them, too. I appreciate you guys, like, you know, asking and, and, and wanting to know, because I don't mind, I don't mind answering questions. I think some people, like, are nervous to ask, or, like, they feel like, oh, she's not going to say anything. I'm I'm always on my phone like <laughs> I, I get the I get the notifications when you ask questions so I will respond I actually has been doing a great great job um, nothing's wrong with it um, there was a little hiccup I had like a little issue probably like three weeks ago um, which was completely my fault me being rough with it <laughs> and I had just packed the spin dryer a little bit too much and when I went to go spin it, it like twitched and it didn't like do anything. So I had to shake the washer a little bit and then it started to spin. So I kind of freaked out. I had like a whole oh, crap moment because I'm like, oh my God, I broke it. But um, I didn't break it. And that was, like I said, that was like three weeks ago and it still works. I haven't had an issue since then. And I don't, I don't, don't pack it you guys because I don't do that now because that was a bad idea. So my washer is right here. Um, I do still have the same one. I did not switch it. Um, because this isn't broken <laughs> and there's no reason to honestly I'm not gonna lie I still want to get a bigger size one but I don't know if this goes out I'll probably do that but if this is still working I just don't feel like a point I don't feel the need in getting another one right now this is still what it looks like it definitely is worn out <laughs> I feel um I definitely have used it um one thing I don't like about this little groove in here is y'all can tell it's like kind of dirty in there um it's really hard to get water out of there so that's probably gonna happen if it hasn't already um these i had issues with i still kind of sometimes have issues with this middle one of these popping off but you just really have to press really hard on them and then they will be back on there um other than that y'all i'm not really gonna do any too much demonstrating with this um just because i have a whole entire playlist on my channel for you guys to watch and see how it works and all this cool features so just make sure you guys go check that out um i do have my stand right here and i ended up putting a towel over it just because sometimes water does spill and i don't like it getting everywhere i tried you guys like three different stands y'all and it was very very hard to try to find a decent size stand that is small enough for me i am 5'3 so i cannot have this on a countertop that some people were suggesting to me and i i can't see like i literally can't see i can't pull any clothes out everything is too is way too tall on the counter um i did not put this in my bathtub because it actually says to not put this in the shower um however i know many 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 people still do it because it is more convenient to just fill it up in the bathtub drain it out in the bathtub but i just don't my bathroom is not set up like that i have already explained it in my six month update how my bathroom is set up and how it's not going to work for me so um, I have it here. I drain it into this pot. I'm still using um, And yeah, this stand if you guys are wondering where to get a stand or maybe you are having issues trying to find a decent one This y'all was actually my old coffee table and I got it from Walmart. I don't remember how much it was It was like years ago um, But I got a whole new set like maybe two years ago I think a whole new coffee table set and this was just like sitting in my closet I had like shoes on it and I was like dude I could be using this for the washer because it's short enough and sturdy enough and I haven't had any problems, so it hasn't dented or anything because you got to remember when you put water in here, it gets heavier. So it's 10 pounds by itself, but with water, it's probably like a good 30 pounds and that is heavy. Like when you're lifting it by yourself, um, especially for me because I'm small. <laughs> So yeah, that is basically it, you know, I do, I love, I love it, I still love this thing, and I've saved so much money, y'all, on laundry, and just, ugh, oh, not having to leave the house is amazing, 
like oh my god i'm so glad i purchased this i'm telling you if you guys have to get one if you're going to the laundromat stop going like get you one of these you know i'm telling you you will be so much more happier it, it don't make no sense so i am now going to talk about my portable dryer the manatee portable dryer that i got off of amazon both of these products are on amazon um i did a two month update on my portable dryer and i love my dryer and it's getting on my nerves now i'm having issues and i think it's about to go out so i've had this dryer for about four five months now four to five months now so not even really half a year um and i'm just gonna turn it on and i need y'all to listen to this sound because i know i'm not tripping well first if you didn't know what my portable dryer looks like it, this is what it looks like it's right next to the portable washer so when i'm done washing i spin and wring and everything out put it in here to dry um this thing um i'm in my office right now y'all and it makes my office hot so i do have to open up a window or have a fan it gets literally so hot in here like a sauna it kind of feels good when you're cold it really does feel good but um i don't know what happened y'all um i do know there's a filter at the bottom of this thing you could just vacuum it out that's the way that i cleaned it so i've been cleaning it and i haven't dropped it it's been in the same spot since I got it, and now, oh, and it comes with this remote, if you guys didn't know. Now listen to it. Okay, so, it does not sound like this. You see? It's starting to do this. And I haven't even had it that long. I'm turning the speed right now. So I'm right I'm right now I'm using the speed to either go fast or slow. This is it going slow. And that's fast. So on top of that, it's not blowing any heat because normally this thing is puffy and there's no heat coming out of here. Like what the heck? So I am not happy about that. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm really annoyed because I haven't even had it that long y'all. Like, and I'm even more annoyed that I didn't see the freaking protection plan because it covered for two years. It was only 13 bucks and I would have paid for it, but I just didn't, I didn't see it on there when I checked out. So I'm really annoyed because dang, here it is five months later and it's not, it's already acting like it doesn't want to work. And now I can't even just get another one because I don't have the protection plan. So with that being said, I don't really know. Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase another one and get the protection plan. That way I have it for two years. But I feel like even after the two years are up, it's still probably gonna act up and go out and then I would have to repurchase it again. Like I feel like this product is gonna be a one that you would have to keep repurchasing. Or maybe the one that I got, I don't even know y'all. I wanna like take the screws out of the bottom. I really wanna like really get in there and, look and clean it out. I mean I, I mean, I don't really know how else to clean it out besides like just vacuuming it because it literally like came up like it was nothing and it's right on the bottom of the dryer so I don't know I'm kind of upset about that I haven't had any issues with the washer besides that little hiccup I've been loving the washer but this dryer I loved it I still love it and it saved my life now it's acting like it just doesn't want to do anything it literally won't even do anything it won't blow out hot air and this happened a week ago so what is today the 11th July 11th. So this happened a week ago that it started acting up. Now, I'm going to see if I can find a different type of portable dryer or something along the lines of this. I do know that other brand that I was talking about before. Um, and just, if you guys didn't know about this, I do have a playlist of me explaining all about this. So if you've already been following, then you kind of like know what's been going on. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch the other videos. I think I don't. I don't like the fact that it hasn't been that long and it's already acting up um, and I just feel like you're gonna have to keep repurchasing this but for the time being when it works it is so helpful it's so helpful so 
I don't know. If I end up fixing it, I will update you guys on that. If not, I might end up purchasing another one. I don't want to spend the money on a dryer down there, downstairs in our building or at the clubhouse, but it is only a dollar to dry. So that's not that bad. I know some people are like a dollar fifty to dry, a dollar fifty to wash. Like they be going, they taxing y'all. They be trying to tax us. I'm so discombobulated because I, I don't like the fact that it's already going out. And I don't want to have to leave the house. That's my main thing too. I don't want to have to leave the house just to do laundry when I can just do it here. So I don't know. I probably might end up buying it. I might end up buying another one and getting the protection plan this time and not doing what I did last time. Make sure y'all do that so y'all are not in a position like me and you can live your life freely because <laughs> this this sucks now because now what now i gotta spend an extra 80 bucks or 90 bucks wasn't looking forward to that so that is it for this video i'm trying to think did i cover everything did i answer everything i believe so if you guys have any other questions just comment below i'm always responding i don't have a problem talking to people i'm not that kind of person like oh i'm too good to talk too good to respond kind of person i, I don't like people like that either I'm not like that. If I am busy, I am busy, but I will most likely respond to you. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I upload a video. I am always doing product reviews. That's kind of like my thing right now on my channel. I'm really loving it and just trying new things. And I love being able to let you guys know what's real and what's not and what to look out for, what to watch for. And um, just giving you guys the full, full details on products because I am also that type of person that wants to know how things work fully um, over a period of time um, so I know what I'm getting myself into. Thank you guys so much for watching again, again. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So. <laughs> I know I just edited the video, but I have no idea what I did. But the dryer's working now. Look. So this is how it normally sounds. It, it, it's not making that noise anymore. I All I did was, for one, I adjusted it, actually. Um, this is back puffy again. As, you, as I was saying, it wasn't puffy. Now it is, so... <gasps> It's sounding better. Okay, so here's my theory. Here's what I think. Um, oh, it sounds way better. It sounds like it's really working now. What did I do? <laughs> okay, well, this is what I, th I think happened. So, these two bars right here at the bottom, um, mind you, it has like a little kickstand underneath there. There's two up front and two in the back. And it wasn't leveled. I think these one. I think this was actually leaning. And maybe the. And I think the top was just up. And now that I I, I adjusted it, I put both of the stands back out. And it's leveled. And now it's acting better. How ironic, you guys! I literally just edited the video talking mess. Like it's broken. And I was so pissed. And now it's like working. So. Yeah, yeah, y'all, that's really weird. Because for a week, I haven't been able to use it for a week. And I don't know if, oh dear. I feel like it's like getting quieter and like, where's the remote? I don't know, it's kind of working. I just think that's so weird, like, I felt like it was too soon for it to be going out anyway. I'm like, come on now, really? I haven't even had that long. It might be okay, y'all. It might be okay. If it continues acting up, I'll let you guys know, but this video is now going to end, so I'll see you guys in my next one.